I'd like to know your opinion on CrossFit and how is it good for fighters to do CrossFit and is it good uh, for people, for recreational people to do CrossFit and also I'd like to know uh, your opinion about CrossFit as a sport. Uh, it has been very, very successful and there are a lot of CrossFit, CrossFit gyms all over the world. However, there have been some complaints that uh, it makes people uh, injured, that people get injured very much because of CrossFit. So I would like to know your opinion about this. I mean, CrossFit is always an interesting topic to discuss. Uh, and it's, it's like a um, topic of major discussions and you know, different camps uh, online and offline. Um, first of all, positive thing is that uh, um, I think the CrossFit made a tremendous uh, uh, impact on a general population in, in terms of making sure they're doing the, the hard stuff like weightlifting, gymnastics, uh, running hard, sprinting. So making sure they're not doing you know vanilla training all the time, just doing leg extensions and you know pec deck stuff. So it and it also. I think it promoted weightlifting more than weightlifting did for like last 200 years. So now you see people doing snatches and cleans in the gym, you know, with poor form, <laughs> poor form, but it's, it's, uh, at least they're do trying it. Um, so fr from that perspective, the CrossFit did a tremendous job and, uh, um, I'm quite, quite, um, thankful for that. So just making sure the general population is familiar with this type of training, just, you know, lifting heavy and, uh, lifting barbells rather than g focusing on the gym work, uh, but it's a, it's a again it's a sport in itself. Uh, it's the I would say I like the idea of of CrossFit making sure that that you cover the bases. So you want to make sure you are um, you know you're you're strong. You want to make sure you're you're fit in terms of like condition. You can run, you can swim. Uh, so they started implementing swimming and even cycling. Uh, you want to make sure you you know the gymnastic. You you can you know move your body across you know space. Uh, you know rings. Um, parallels, you know, handstands and all that stuff, make, making sure you're aware of your body. So they're not extreme in either. So uh, uh, that's quite, quite, uh, quite interesting. Uh, but it, it's also a sport in itself. So, and you cannot just, you know, train CrossFit to get fit for, for fighting. Um, I don't think it's a, it's a smart thing to do. I mean, you can do it in off season uh, as, a, as a way of training, but. Um, that type of that's a prima GPP. So that type of training should be uh, suited to you as a fighter and suited to your individual needs, and your and, and, and the sport needs or a combat sport needs. And as I said, uh, CrossFit now becomes a sport in itself. So uh, does CrossFit athletes go to train MMA to become better for CrossFitters? So why should it work otherwise as well? Right. Okay. Before we finish. Uh, I wanted to ask you about your website, complementarytraining.net. What are the plans for the future and uh, where can people reach you if they want to uh, you know, contact you? So when it comes to complementary training, we, we, want, to make, we want to make it more, um, um, increase the community. So we want to in make sure that other coaches are contributing, making like a, a nice community of, um, you know, I would say high performance coaches and sports scientists. Uh, so making sure that we, we include people writing for us um, and just e expanding in terms of readership. Uh, we are also launching the web app or SaaS software as a service uh, called, uh, called Athlete SR. So it's a web app for coaches um, uh, to help them with the scheduling training and collecting the uh, information from the athletes. So uh, we should be launching that in a, maybe in a week or two or Maybe it's already launched by, by the time this video is available. Uh, so it's called Athlete SR. Um, SR stands for? <laughs> it has multiple meanings. So uh, scheduler, uh, subjective rating, and uh, of course, Serbia. Oh, so okay. uh, it's a quite interesting acronym. Um, again, depend on uh, how the market is going to react. My idea is to continue making tools for coaches, making their life easier. So uh, I have... Uh, the two tools I mentioned, the annual planner, which is an Excel template, and strength card builder, which is also an Excel template. I want to kind of make, make them an, into a, a web tool so you can access them from any device, anytime. Uh, just making sure it's more flexible, it's more, uh, um, more useful for coaches. Thank you very much for this interview. So 
If you want to find out more about Mladen and maybe even uh, apply for his coaching membership, his website is all about helping uh, strengthen conditioning coaches uh, become better at what they do. But also, uh, you can help. Uh, it's also good for MMA coaches and martial arts coaches. Of course, I have a few articles about uh, you know MMA, and um, as you as you said, it's more suited for team sport athletes. Uh, but you mean team sports coaches? Team, yeah, team sport coaches. Uh, but uh, as I mentioned, there's a, a lot of shared areas that you can you know cross the main. So. Uh, it's also useful for MMA coaches, and there are a few articles about it, uh, you know, specific articles aiming at combat sports. So, and, and I, I always welcome coaches out there uh, willing to share their experiences. Uh, we are open to um, publish uh, any, any good, good papers and good work, videos and, and so forth. So I invite everyone willing to share their experiences and willing to educate others and, you know, willing to put their stuff out there pretty much to, to send me uh, send me articles, send me videos. I'll, I'll be happy to review them and publish them. To find out about Mladen, go to complementarytraining.net. And I would like to thank you for this interview. And Thanks, Mark. Thank you very much. And I hope, to, I hope you will be my guest again, maybe showing some uh, strength and conditioning exercise or some other concept. Sure thing. I enjoyed it. Um, hope to talk to you soon. If you want to master MMA fundamentals, Check out my instructional called MMA Essential Lessons. In it you can learn about clinch takedowns, boxing, grappling, Muay Thai, ground and pound, Thai and puppet master clinch, escapes from inferior positions and shooting takedowns. Check out the link in the description below.